What's up folks, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for The Outer Worlds. In this episode, we're going to be helping out a doctor by the name of Ellie. The mission itself is called Worst Contract and involves us trying to clear one of Ellie's debts. Hope you enjoy, and please remember to like and subscribe. Let's have a look down here, see if there's anyone we can talk to. Are you listening to me, Emperor? You can't keep me out of there. I'm sorry, am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Wait, you don't even like her, but you're checking in on her. You say that like it's weird. That's just very noble of you. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're gonna give people the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Jessie's situation sounds normal to me. <laughs> yeah, if she's in the morgue. How do you know she's just not sick? Because I'm a doctor. I know what illness looks like. And Jessie was looking as sleek as a sprat in the Tyleritos last time I saw her. And anyway, if someone suddenly comes down with a calamitous disease, it doesn't stay secret for long around here. Well, maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. The quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. Okay. Let's go on inside and use our holographic shroud for the first time. I think we should try and track that, just so we know exactly where we're going. Okay, so there's the ID cartridge that works with the shroud. You have found an ID cartridge to use with the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the associated restricted area. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out of this the more you are interrogated. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease. To the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace! requires not being disturbed, don't you? Calm down, Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine, we're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Open the door before I kick it down. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. I do work for the board, actually. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it, and I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. What did you do to get in all this trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had someone follow you, and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. 
I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So you stole it? If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. I'll talk to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Well, she does claim that she's not your friend, but I don't believe that for one second. We're actually going to be pushing this here. Don't mind me, I work in this place. I was hoping that we would never have to talk to this guy ever again, but apparently our luck ran out. We'll try and make it short and sweet. This is Halcyon. How do you do? Ah, how might I assist you? I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled right now. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indentured contract. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? The way I see it, she really doesn't have much of a choice. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Yeah, we wouldn't want to talk to you any more than that anyways. See ya, bud. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what. I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better-than-average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Are you saying that you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. What exactly did Jesse do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. What was this bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And? And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. You got an interesting story there. Moral is, mantisaurs can't run when they're full of holes. You really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Welcome to the crew, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Yeah, Vicar Max. We'll see you later, bud. You're kind of an asshole. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Now that we have a doctor, I would only assume that when she's in our party, we'll have a little bit of a boost to our medical skills. Let's check this out right now. She likes some handguns, eh? Okay. Plus 10 medical. Awesome, we'll take that right now. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.